20 years after that bloody incident being remembered today, Plateau State is not free from violent clashes. At the last count, dozens of people have been killed within weeks in a series of attacks. Just north and just south local government areas are under curfew. TVC News Uzon Naonoye joins us on the news tonight from where he went to monitor the level of compliance to the curfew. Uzon, uh, yesterday the stakeholders meeting and today remembrance of what happened 20 years ago. How exactly are people reacting to these activities and what is the mood in the state? Well, all over the state there is a peaceful, you know, tension if i'm allowed to use that it, it's not tensed really but people are very cautious of what they do and where they go to uh, we just went round the two local government areas as you mentioned just south and just north you remember that just south is uh, the, the coffee there began at 10 p.m which is just a few minutes before now but in just north it started at 6 p.m and uh, where we are right now is in front of the state secretariat which is in just south local government area. Just a few meters down there is the Federal Secretariat, and that one is in just north. We notice that uh, businesses are really suffering because just is a state that, or a city that is high on tourism, hotels and nightclubs and all of that. Right now, they are all shut down as we drove around the, the, the city, and um, it's coming at a huge cost. But just as you mentioned yesterday, the federal government delegation was here and uh, the secretary to the government of the federation, Boss Mustafa, gave assurances from the president on government's preparedness to ensure that all of these violence come to an end. But while we wait for that, the state government is also busy and I'm bringing in the commissioner for information, Dan Manjang, to tell us a little bit more about what government, state government here is doing to bring all of this violence to an end. Over to you. Yes, uh, thank you very much. Uh, we have done a lot apart from the institutional framework that we have put in place. The most important thing that we are doing now is to embark on community dialogue. We have diagnosed the, 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 the problem and uh, the people, the perpetrators of the violence are not being carried on. And so we assemble traditional rulers, community leaders, so that and, and religious leaders to also uh, change their homilies, preach, preach love and talk to their words. And so... Uh, we feel by so doing, it's going to help our situation, and it is indeed helping our situation. In a nutshell, that is what we are doing, and we are encouraging the warring communities to sign peace pacts. Uh, it has happened in the past, and it worked. Uh, between the Bureau and the Fulani, it worked. It is working. Uh, we don't see any reason why it will not, it should not work with the other communities like the Irigu and Fulani. And we are on that path because uh, the state government has been able to organize dialogues uh, first with the Fulani and then with the Irigu. And then we have brought them together. There's a working document with which they are putting up together, which very soon is going to be signed. And we hope that that, that is going to also help this situation. Abbasane, before I l let you go, um, Plateau State has not less than 50 ethnic nationalities, and with that you understand the complexity of having a, a, a mutual relationship amongst all of them, different interests, different background, different understanding, and uh, different realities. All of these are what come together to create the situation that we have in, in Plateau State, but it is hoped that... Uh, recent efforts by the federal government and the state government, particularly the state government, applying soft measures that are non-kinetic in, in finding, uh, in trying to get the communities and the ethnic groups to understand themselves and live together as one. It's, it is hoped that it will begin to yield positive results very soon. Over to you. All right, Ozana, thank you very much for that update. Do uh, stay safe. Ozana is... Uh Executive Editor, TVC News. Thank you again.